Hello, this is Kelly from Rue Pursuit, and today we are working on fused plastic, uh, like plastic Walmart bags, which is what this is, to uh, create these cute little tags. So uh, I did this years and years ago where I fused plastic bags together, and I always kind of kept it in my mind because I know that people may create like bags out of them, sew together bags. So anyway, this is what I did, and I'm gonna show you today how to get the plastic bag looking like this. And then also, uh, I just sewed around it, and then I stapled on some ephemera, because I'm not too sure about how to glue, about the gluing on the plastic. But uh, yeah, you could also use brads on it as well. Or you could try gluing it, who knows? I didn't, I didn't try it. So, <laughs> I would recommend that you use not your mat underneath because I did and it bubbled up on me. It does appear that it has gone back to normal, but I did try to iron on my mat, which was not a good idea. So don't do that. Uh, use an ironing board. That's a better idea. I'm going to put down some fabric here because I see actually I might have bubbled up my desk too. Oh, well, okay, so I'm just gonna put this muslin down. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. All right, so I've got the muslin down. Now, uh, I basically am using plastic bags. So these, any kind of bags that you get at the, you know, the store, the different um, things on them, Walmart bags, all that kind of plastic works. You want to turn the bag inside out because sometimes the the uh, whatever image they printed on there will come off. So just turn those inside out. You can take your scissors and cut off the ends of the bag. Um, I kind of laid it out and did it the first time, but this time I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it like this. So just kind of fold it up and there it goes. So I've got this left, left over. And then you can cut off the handles, get those out of the way. Cutting off handles. And my image is inside out, you can see because it's backwards. And you can, you wanna fold the plastic in layers of um, six to eight layers is what they say. So right now, let's see, this is already two layers, and this is four layers, and this is eight layers. So you can kind of manipulate it a little bit so that your image, your writing is closest to the surface. I like this better. I'm gonna do that. So now I've got eight layers right there. All right, so you, I do recommend that you use parchment paper. I, I was out of parchment paper. This is all I have left. It's just this small bit. So I'm using this other paper and it does seem to have like a plastic coating on one side. So I'm, I'm doing it on this side. I don't recommend, the only recommendation I have for the paper is not to use wax paper because you will melt the wax into your iron. So don't do that. And what else? If you, I've heard that you can use like brown paper bags and so forth. I've never tried it, but uh, you can try and uh, give that a whirl. So I'm just gonna put some weights down in my paper. And then I'm going to get my iron. You want to set your iron to the rayon polyester setting. On my iron, that's setting number three. So, obviously not the highest setting. And then you just want to iron it for, uh, for a few minutes. This is really shrinking up fast. I did not do that the first time. Which I'm assuming it's not really a problem. So, if you look at it right now, that's actually... A Oh, that's hot. 
Anyway, you don't want to touch it when it's hot, but you can peek and see when you see like those bubbles and wrinkles are out of it, then it's it's pretty good. It helps to kind of flip it over. So like this part right here, not done. This part right here, pretty done. So I need to do it more on this end. And obviously if you touch the plastic to your iron, you're gonna wreck your iron. So don't do that, so don't do that. Actually has a really neat finish on the gray Walmart bag. So that's kind of cool. And I thought you could do, you know, layer different kind of bags and different pieces of bags. So we'll we'll give that a try. Let's just see how it is now. Looking looking pretty good. So I would call that piece done. So that's kind of what it looks like. On there. This is a little wrinkly, so maybe I'll just try on this end a little more. But the other end looked really good. So then you can just kind of, you can cut it raw. So I could cut it maybe into tags, like this could be a tag and that could be a tag. So I could have three tags right there and then sew around it. Um, or you can cut it into a perfect shape that you want, square shape. You could probably use your die cuts on it too, to be honest. Uh, and, all right, let's try, let's try another bag. I'm gonna set my iron out of the way. So I'm gonna turn this one inside out. And I'm gonna cut the ends off where it's kind of gathered because if you don't cut that off you won't have consistent uh, layer and then it may not uh, fuse evenly we'll just go with that or you can do it all willy-nilly and then tell me how it goes <laughs> <That's you. laughs> all right so the great thing about this is you can use different colors. So I've got all that off. So this time I'd like to try maybe combining some different pieces to see, you know, what ends up happening. So I'm just gonna cut here, here. I got these uh, sort of tan bags. Cut the ends off of this. Okay. And for this one, I'm just going to try. Let me just look. This, this is kind of a fun part over here. I'm just going to cut that off. Look, it says, recycle plastic bag. That's what we're doing. Good job, us. Okay, so I'll get that one out of there. And then, so these are my little scraps, because we're gonna do like a little collage deal. And this piece is really big, so I'm just gonna cut it, I think I'm gonna cut it in half. Yeah, let's cut it. And cut my parchment paper. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a disaster when I'm doing this today. All right, so that's still a really big piece, and we're going to be adding layers there. But I think if we just add a couple layers, that should be fine. So I'm just going to fold it this way. So this way, it's eight layers right here, and then we're just going to lay that across. Maybe like, like this, lay it across here. And like that, okay? 
I'll just take that and put the parchment paper over it. I'll get my iron and we'll see how it goes. Okay, now I'm just gonna check on it and flip it over and give it a second to cool so I don't burn myself like I did last time. All right, flip it over. I don't know why I flipped the parchment paper. It seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> and we're ironing. Oh, hot. <laughs> yep, that's what I did. In case you were wondering. All right. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. A little bit under there. This side for a minute. I'll do this side for a minute. All right, let's check it. See where our bubbles are. That looks pretty good. I think I can call that one done. So I've got this, and now I can figure out, I think I can make maybe four tags on this. Too many, I don't know. Maybe I'll do three. I'll do this one. Those are pretty cool looking. I don't know if I do want to do this edge. This edge is neat, but straighten it out a little bit. Cut that. Cut this. You could maybe use your pinking shears or your edge scissors for that also. The scraps out of the way. I'm gonna cut off this edge. I need this. All right, so I sewed around these as well, and I added a little embellishment here uh, because it was easy to attach, and I really didn't want to add anything else to it because I thought, wow, that is quite nice, just the way it is. So here's another one that I did. I put, uh, the, there's regular stickers, and they have a little like gold foil accents to them. And I thought probably washi stickers would go with this really well, so I added those. And then I just did another tag and then added the little brad to it. So on this one. So I hope you'll give these a try because these are really, really cute. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll uh, try to help any way I can. Well, as always, thanks for coming along. And I'll talk to you later.